Um, this Congress has a lot of work to do. Washington, D.C. has a lot of work to do. Uh, we have no child left behind, but the money isn't there. We're debating right now, making sure that all children get health care, but the president's saying he'll veto that legislation. We have a lot of work to do in our country and here in Washington in order to make sure that every child in America uh, is given the opportunity they need. Education, health care, protection in the community. There's no debate over that. And uh, I'm a liberal Democrat from Massachusetts. So on those things, that's what I come here to do every day. And we're fighting to make that possible. And uh, the work that you do for Katrina in books, that's great. It really is. I guess the question I would ask you is, uh, how can you work to have a positive message? Because they have to hear a positive message from Congress, too. There are people here fighting to get that positive message out, too. We're not successful in the short run. We have to continue to fight. What can you do? What you do in Katrina, unfortunately, what you do in some of these other things, kids in America don't hear about that. They should, but they don't. All they hear uh, is your music. So what can you do working with those of us here who are trying to get out of positive events, to try to put positive programs on? What can you do? in your music, to get out the positive message, to accent that. What can you do? I actually call my music a Bible with a Playboy cover on it. Um, and the one thing that I disagree with you about is kids know what I do because I make sure that I get on BET, I make sure that I get on MTV. And as a matter of fact, one of the reasons why my last album probably didn't reach the place that it was supposed to reach even though I had one of the, the biggest singles in the world is because I didn't spend time promoting my album. I spent time promoting what was going on in Mississippi and the fact that uh, people in Mississippi were being ignored. I think what happened, as a matter of fact, and I, I think if you talk to people in the crowd, people look at me as more of an activist now than they do as a rapper and it, it sort of hurts my pocket, but that's do you, fine. Do you think that your music is consistent with, but let you are undermining of the message you're sending out. But actually, my music, music is, is, it, is the music that you that you that you put out there consistent with, or undermining of the message you're my, sending on Katrina? My message is very consistent. The actually, message that your music actually, if, 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 like I say, I call my music a Bible with a Playboy cover. I start here and I end in a different place. And what I will say, real quick, I think part of the problem I see in Congress right here today. I look at the fact that we're debating about something that's so very important in our society, but our parents are gone. I'm looking at the seat. Our parents are gone. And as more questions are being asked, as important as people say that this is, our parents are gone. So we're left here again. It's probably by the end of this statement, it's going to probably be more of us than it will be of you guys. So once again, we're here to bend for ourselves Again, Can I say, this, not being let me say this to you? Every every time one of your videos play, mm -hmm. there's not a video playing of your work in Katrina. There's not a video playing of this other message. All there is is that one video, and that's what the young people in America see. What can you do in your videos, in your music, that helps to propel this more positive message? out there at the same time. This is a message. What can you do? It's funny that you say that because people always say that my videos are confusing because I always try to put something in my videos that I probably should spend more time being focused on the music at hand. What I will say is can this. You do the, more? What, can, 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 can I ask you a question? Ask, can you do more? Yeah, I can do more. No, 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 let me ask what, you. Will you do more? No, I'm doing more. I think it's better for me to become as big as 50 cents. So instead of asking, the, the Red Cross to do our hoods right and which, uh, the Red Cross to not do our hoods right. I can do it myself with the, the finances that I have made. And what I will say, I am, and I have to admit this, after I talk to those preachers, I am like Stephen King. I do better at horror music. Horror music is what I do. And you, you, don't, ask, you don't ask Will Smith to do the same. Well, while you're acting Will Smith, can you please make sure that you 
put some kind of message in your movie while you're acting and you're being a killer. Okay. We're musicians. Look, we, we here in Washington have work to do. I come to work every single day trying to do better for the people that you're sending your message to. My question to you is, are you willing to try to do better in communicating a message that is more positive? I, what I will say, I am willing to work harder to change the, the conditions in which I come out of, so maybe I won't have to talk about it. Maybe if we spent more time in the hood, and, and, and being the fact that Mississippi is the most impoverished state, the, um, the most impoverished state in the union, maybe if my conditions change, I would have different things to talk about. Can you get better? I mean, I can get better if the situations get better. So you're not. Can ready. we make the situations better? I'm only speaking about what I see in my neighborhood. Well, Ch change the situation in my neighborhood. That's maybe I would have something that else to talk about. Not working. And I'm and I'm not being combative. It, it's just painful. It's just painful to me that. We go through situations as African Americans, and it's like we, we first of all, we were brought, brought here as slaves, we were thrown in situations, and now we're talking about the stuff that we see, and it's like, it's, it's a big problem. Everything that you, there's nothing that you can look at in my music and say that it doesn't exist in my community. Like, that's, that's all I'm, I'm asking is just really address the real problem, because the truth is, everyone who points a finger from that perspective we can probably trace something back to each and every family that helps affect the music that I'm talking about. Children, chil children don't always see it every day the way you do. And the question that you have, and I think we all have to do, and Washington has a responsibility, is to create a sense that there is hope, that there's a reason to believe, that you can be optimistic, that it doesn't all have to be negative. And that's all I'm asking you to do, is to try to get better, to try to in your message, in your power, uh, to communicate that sense of, of optimism, and that there are people who are working to make things better, because you're looking at people here who work every single day to do it, from our chairman uh, through, uh, through most of the members here. Now, we're not always successful because there's a White House there, but we need, through you, through your incredible power, because children don't hear the rest of this, for you to play a role too. And I will ask yeah. you to do more research on me, and you'll see that I'm doing it. And instead of listening to the curse words, just listen to the fact that we're asking for help. Come help. Thank you. We, we want to thank you very much. This, uh, we're going to have to conclude the, this line of questioning, and we're going to have to conclude this testimony because we do have another panel uh, that has uh, been just so patient. They've been here most of the day. Uh, you got Mr. Mr. Yeah. I, I just want to elaborate on that. Uh, I think what we have to get back to, uh, I think, where, where, where Mr. Banner is right now. Where I understand what, the, what, what exactly is going on right now. We have to understand that we have to realize what he's doing in his personal life and his views and what he's doing when he's in the media. I see what Congressman is saying. What, what, what exactly we do in the media, it will affect the lives of other people. So we got to think about it. And that's why I say education and knowledge is two different things. I mean, we could be educated, but when we get the knowledge and understand that, we'll really be able to take our game to the next level, and that's what I'm going to do. The kids out here right now really need somebody to focus on the knowledge and what we can do to make those changes, because we do need that balance. But also, as the media, we've got to stop glorifying the negative stuff and glorify more positive things. Let's glorify the positive people in hip-hop, and the kids don't want to change. But if we constantly keep glorifying the negative stuff, and, and also we're in a panic mode right now. I want to leave y'all with this, that we're in a panic. I have to figure out how to take my game to the next level, because I want to help take David and everybody else around me to take us out of that panic mode. Because all we got right now is just the way we eat, just the way we feed our kids. I want to take hip hop to Wall Street to understand how to put a balance so we don't have to depend, and we really can say, understanding whatever we want, but knowing that it affects somebody. And when we get to that level of the game and understand what I talk about, building a union and start building benefits for hip hop, then we can't control what, what these kids are saying. I want to give these kids some type of, I want to be like a commissioner say, like the NBA have. Let's build a league for hip hop so now we can give benefits, child care, make sure now these hip hop kids, because these kids, kids are great. We come from a great situation, but we're not going to do that because these guys are not going to sacrifice they paychecks and they jobs right now, unless we feel some type of financial literacy where we know that we can change and it's not just about the music. 
It's about something big. It's about our kids. It's about them not being the way we are. And that's when I'm going to take full responsibility. I'll take full responsibility right now for hip hop, saying that I'm a big part of the problem. I figure I'm the father of this. I sold 75 million records. And I wish I had somebody to wake me up in my prime so where now I can get to one of these kids like Kanye West saying people that are watching what you do. If you could take your game to the next level, you just you just took out 50 cent and showed that you could be something bigger. Now if you think about what you say on this next record, the next person that comes powerful with a big record, like a millionaire already started to clean his, his lyrics up. And I'm not saying change the content of the freedom of speech. I'm just saying take out the negative stuff that they won't play on the radio or TV anyway. And we can get some of these endorsement deals. We can get our product into, we can be a part of these diversity programs. If you look at like Walmart, Target, these people got diversity for a reason. We are not involved in because we are stereotyped by the music. So it got to start today, and I will be a part of that mission. Don't be slow, Congressman, but I'll be out there fighting, and I'll be out there making sure that we think about what we say, and I can help some of, these, uh, some of my colleagues around me and say behind the scenes. We have to get, like David said, we have to get what we need behind the scenes and talk about it and take out. When, I, when those guys left this first panel, they was communicating. They going to figure out how it is. We had each other chosen when we don't need to be at no more because we're empowering these communities right now. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we thank this panel. We thank you so much for your time and for your testimony. You have really uh, done uh, uh, the entire nation quite a, an excellent service. You really provided some insight into uh, your art form and entire, uh, insight into your business. We thank you so very much. And now we will ask the next panel to please be seated. Thank you so very much. Thank you. And thank you guys for the opportunity of letting us speak. Three votes, and uh, at least three votes. <laughs>